Okay, we're ready for part four on this EPP glider project. And what I'm getting ready to do now is I'm getting ready to cut a hole from the bottom of our electronics compartment into oh, about the middle of the inside of our canopy of our fuselage. And the reason I'm doing that is because we need to be able to run our power cables up from our speed controller up to our battery and I'm going to use the Dremel tool and I'm using the exact same bit, the multi-purpose bit, uh, in order to drill this out. And I've got the painter's tape on here to, as a guide as to the angle at which I need to go in. So I want to go in and maintain the angle. I'm going to go in right at the top at the front of that compartment that we cut out right there while maintaining the center line and maintaining the angle that I have on my painters tape up here. So I'm going to go ahead and drill this out and then we'll come back and take a look at it and make sure that we can get our wires pushed up through there. Be back in a minute. Okay so I've drilled my hole, I've removed my tape and let me tell you that tape served as a very good guide and um, uh, just as a tip when I um, I cut I put a hot glue tab on the back side of this canopy cover to help hold it in and then I went back and also added just a small little hot glue tab on the very top of the back side of the canopy that it fits into and doing both of those things yeah that canopy is not going to come open during flight now I'm, I'm I'm sure of that so anyway on to the current project the current task as you can see I've got a hole just about in the center and the top of the compartment that we carved out so I'll be able to take my leads from my speed controller all the way up into my canopy and if you can see the hole that I that, uh, that drilled through there it's just about in the center I think I was off just just a slight amount and then I went back with the with the uh, multi-purpose bit and just kind of honed that hole out a little bit. I might I might actually hone it out a little bit more, but uh, yeah, um, that turned out pretty well. I think I've got plenty of room for the wire the the wires that I'm going to use to run up to the battery. I mean, this thing's not going to use a lot of amps, so I'm probably just going to use oh probably a 20 or 22 gauge um, high strand wire to run up through there so I think that's going to be sufficient and I think I'll also have room in that little canal to actually bring up a couple of wires for my micro FPV system because I'm definitely going to FPV this glider as well so alright that concludes that task that worked out really well I'm finding that Dremel tool with the multi-purpose um, cutting bit uh, really works well with this EPP foam so if you don't have some kind of rotary tool, a drill, even a drill, just a regular drill, and get one of those multi-purpose cutting bits, it's going to save you a tremendous amount of time on this project. So there you go, and I will see you in the next task.